Hi guys, it's Ben CG here. I'm doing a little park vlog today with Teddy, who I'm walking around. And he's not a very good walker, so I've got to keep on quite a strict little lead. I know my channel's been a little bit quiet recently because I've been working on the final video from Slovenia, um, which is taking a bit longer than expected because of some colour correction issues. The video's turned out much bluer than it was in real life, so I'm working hard on going through some tutorials to try and fix that and make it look as nice as it was in real life for you. So yeah, hope you like my sunglasses by the way, I just got them, but I've not worn them yet, they're prescription as well, they're Ray-Bans, I quite like them. Although I might get the colour of the tint adjusted if I can. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing the small YouTuber tag video, which I've been tagged in by Jadan, Dan in Japan. I've just walked past these guys and they've, uh, they've gotten curious, they've asked me if I'm done doing YouTube, so they want to be in the video. <laughs> What are your names? <laughs> Tyler. Drew. Reese. James. James. JSA Gamer. Cool. <laughs> Cheers, right. guys. Thank see, you. See you later. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Wait, when do you do this video? Uh, hopefully in a couple of days. Oh, aren't they sweet? <laughs> anyway, uh, before I was kind of cut off there, <laughs> yeah, I was tagged in the small YouTuber tag by Jadan. Who's a proper Yorkshire lad, he's a great J vlogger. Can't do a great Yorkshire accent. It's a little bit exaggerated and I'm sure he's gonna give me a slap when he sees me. So I've got some questions to answer, which I'm gonna read off my phone if I can get little Teddles here under control. Teddles, you're being silly. Someone's banging some wood. <laughs> right, let's find a place to settle the camera down and I can answer these questions. Right, you might see Teddy walking around me a bit. I've tied my camera to a goal post using a gorilla pod, so <laughs> it's about as good as I'm gonna get, really. Anyway, let's see if I can rocket through these questions. So, question one, what inspired you to start making videos? I've been making videos for a while, actually. I mean, I've been travel blogging all my life, in an essence, really. Um, but I feel like I had a bit of an identity crisis where all of my different interests and all of the different things I've been doing throughout my life so far had different identities and different themes associated with identities and I just felt socially isolated and like nothing I was putting out was getting any feedback. Like even when I'm tweeting, it's like there's no, there's no real feedback, there's no sense of connection with anyone and I just felt really isolated. So I wanted to try and unify all of my interests and all of the different areas of my life under one sort of umbrella brand, if you like. So that's why I just decided to create a new YouTube channel for myself in the spring of 2015. Question two, how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? I've sort of answered that already. Yes, I have had another channel before, which was called Blue Rush. Um, you can look it up if you like. There's just a couple of old casual videos I did there, no serious vlogging. Um, but yeah, there's a few bits and pieces from there, from, uh, from before, so yeah. Anyway, I don't use that channel anymore. Question three, where do you see yourself on your YouTube channel in five years? Hopefully with a lot more people involved and a lot more engagement, because that is the reason I'm doing this, for connections with people like you who are watching this right now, you know? Um, I'm doing it for the human community aspect. I'm not doing it necessarily for money. I'm not making any money off of it at all at the moment. I'm not even a YouTube partner, so. Yeah, I primarily want to do it just for human connections and to share and create content that I'm passionate about, which is travel vlogging and vlogging about life and things like that. Vlogging about my life here in England, I mean, I don't really feel too passionate about that. It's a little bit boring, but my travels are, you know, I've, I've been sort of vlogging in some sense all my life really. Every time I've gone on holiday I used to always um, speak directly to the camera and tell people where we was and what was going on and my whole family found it really annoying <laughs> so um, I suppose it's just come naturally to me to do travel vlogging really and I decided to get into it because I was coming to the end of my university studies and I wasn't quite so sure about the direction I was taking or trying to take in life anymore. Yeah I thought against travel vlogging because it's something I feel more comfortably passionate about. I just felt like I was biting off a bit more than I could chew with my animation and game design studies and I still would love to get into game design and make a proper game someday even though I have already made one um, just like a quick five minute game that I made in university but I'm very very proud of it um, so I feel a bit more comfortable travel vlogging and trying to make at least a part-time career out of it and money will probably come into it at some point later but not just yet I'm gonna pick this one up because he's being a bit annoying 
Uh, right, question four. What message are you trying to get across with your videos? So I'm going to interpret this as kind of like what my unique selling point of my channel is, and this is what I think it is, right? I do create travel blogs, um, but a lot of the other travel bloggers I've been looking at who are great, like uh, Kristen Sarah from Hot Stops the Globe, um, and Fun for Louie, and Hey Nadine, and oh, there's so many others as well I've been looking at recently, and the J vloggers as well, um, like Rachel and June, and Sharla, and just because I'm interested in their content, and, and I feel like they do great work, and they seem like such nice people that I'd love to meet one day. And, and, I've, and I've brought in Japan as well, he's very good. Uh, I don't mean to add him as a footnote, but there you go, he's, he's, he's great, you should go and check him out. So yeah, back to what the question is, what message am I trying to get across with my videos? A lot of the full-time professional travel vloggers, the really big ones if you like, um, do a lot of very polished videos and they're really high quality, they're dynamic and they deserve every bit of success they get and what I'm trying to do is set myself apart from them, not too deliberately, but I'm just trying to follow what I feel is my own natural style and this is kind of the feedback I've had on my videos so far from people who've been kind enough to comment that my videos seem to feel intimate and a bit rough around the edges and I kind of like that because it's not necessarily this polished tourist video but it's more of a intimate travel video diary and you sort of feel immersed into the video like you're really there with me and you're exploring it with a friend and that's exactly the kind of feel I really like to try and get across it's the sort of feel for the video I've got in mind when I'm filming it and so this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to create intimate real feeling video blogs that um, show you great places from around the world that I've wanted to visit and that places that inspire me and other things that inspire me as well such as music and how they influence my creativity. I've lost track of my thought, hang on a minute. And it's starting to rain a bit as well now. Oh great. Right. Hi guys, it started to rain in the park so I've had to come home and do the rest of this video. <laughs> So yeah, sorry about the little jarring cut there, but uh, you can't help the weather, can you? So let's see if I can get through the rest of these questions. So I think I left off at about question four. Um, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? So yeah, I, th I think what I like to do is to sort of create my videos that are serving two purposes. One is to preserve memories of my own travels for myself because I like to watch my own videos back. I do it for myself partly, but I also at the same time want to create videos that are sharing it with people like you, people like you who are interested in the content and are interested in travel and want to see sort of what I'm up to and where I'm going. And it's all about discovery really, so I like to discover new things and share, new pl share the places with you and try and gain a connection with my subscribers that way. This really is not motivated by money, it's motivated by a desire for more social interaction, more social engagement and more people in my life because I don't really have any friends here locally that I hang out with on a daily basis and I never have to be honest with you. I've got a bit of a social isolation thing going on here which makes me sound like a bit of a loser. So yeah, you know, I'm, I'm running this YouTube channel as a way to try and connect with more people like yourself and just try and build up a bit more, I don't want to say influence or clout, but just kind of build up connections with people so that it might make it easier for me to get things done in the future if I want to be honest about this. Not that I intend to use my connections or take them for a ride or anything like that, but I think knowing a lot of people can help you achieve things in this world and I think that's definitely the way that the sort of 21st century social media influencer economy is working and I feel like if I want to do what I want to do, which I can't see myself doing in full-time employment with a company for the rest of my life, I need to build connections so that I am able to move up in the world and that's all we all want, right? But I digress. The message I'm trying to get across with my videos is probably appreciate the small things in life because when I'm traveling I often find myself staring at beautiful amazing views and contemplating my place in the world and contemplating my own life having taken some distance between myself and all the problems and stresses I face in my daily life. I just try to see the bigger picture of uh, what I can do to leave a mark on the world. I'm using travel as kind of self-therapy 
in a sense as well. I think I would say my key message is to get out there, discover as much as you possibly can, always keep learning, appreciate the small things in life and do not underestimate the value of people in your life because only since I've started this YouTube channel have I realised what more people in my life can bring to me and what more people in my life can bring to me in the sense of being able to do things for others as well. So yeah, I, I, I think that's the message I'm trying to get across in my videos. So question five, do people from school find your channel? <sighs> Who wrote this quiz? 13 year olds? School, school? No, no, no way. College? I doubt it. Uh, university? Yeah, quite possibly. Hi, if anyone from my university is watching me now. Question six, what does your username mean? Uh, it's pretty simple actually, Ben CG. Um, CG are just my initials for my middle and last name. My name is Ben Charles Gray. I thought it had a nice ring to it. <laughs> and question seven, my favourite small YouTubers. Up to 10,000 subscribers I'd say would qualify as a small YouTuber and I'm a long way off from hitting that target and it would be amazing if I could hit that target one day. So the first small YouTuber I'm going to give a shout out to is Jadan who's tagged me in this video. He's really great. He's a very entertaining and charismatic Jay vlogger who is getting better with his videos all the time and he shares his life in Japan through the eyes of a Yorkshireman and it makes me miss Japan like crazy. Go and check out his channel, I'll put a link in the description. Japan really does have such a special place in my heart. I know that my channel has moved in a sort of more general travel vlogging direction lately but trust me Japan will continue to be a major part of my channel. I will always keep going back to Japan. Always, always, always. Yeah, I hope to meet up with him next time I go out to Japan. No couple of strongs though, because I don't drink. So the next small YouTuber I'm going to give a shout out to is Tender Butter, who I've done a collaboration video with. You can check it out. I'll put a uh, end screen link at the end of this video so you can go and have a look at that, where we taught each other slang from our countries. Anyway, the other small YouTubers, and I'm going to tag them for in this video to do answer these to answer these questions. So all the questions will be in the description of my video, so you can copy them and read them out in your own video. So I'm going to tag these YouTubers now. Wikipedia, as her name suggests, she is the Utara Hikaru Wikipedia. She does lots of J-pop music reviews, and I've really enjoyed watching her video. She's got a nice, strong community around her, and her channel's grown really quickly, so definitely go and check her out if you're into Japanese music, and maybe a little bit of Korean pop as well. The next YouTuber I'm going to tag is Radich, who you may remember if you've been following my channel right from the very beginning, is my Norwegian buddy known as D. Um, his YouTube name is Radish. Reddish, it's got two D's in there for some reason. He's my buddy from Norway and he does let's plays of horror games and first person shooter games and he's a great guy. You should go and check out his channel if you're into gaming and if you especially if you like horror games and VR games with the Oculus Rift, he does let's plays of those. Uh, the next small YouTuber I'm gonna tag is Lisa Sometimes. Um, she does great J vlogging videos from Tokyo. She's a Londoner. Yeah, I definitely recommend her channel if you want to see what Tokyo is like through the eyes of a London girl. And the last small YouTuber I'm going to tag is a Brit and Abroad, who are some great up and coming travel vloggers. They make really top quality professional travel vlogs. They've done some amazing videos from places as far flung as Greenland. So I'm tagging them in this video and I'll be sure to let them know about it. We don't know each other too well personally, but I really enjoy their videos. Cinematic travel vlogs, you should definitely check them out. So that is it. That is my small YouTuber tag. And um, I've got a little bit of news coming up I'd like to share quickly as well. The good news is that I have finally found myself a proper decent paying full-time job here in the UK. So what that means is that I'm going to have a much stronger, much steadier income financially and I have decided that I am going to make some serious investment in myself and in my channel this year in terms of upgrading my equipment, in terms of teaching myself how to be better at creating travel vlogs. Um, I've got my eye on an online course which has been created by Kristen Sarah from Hopscotch the Globe and some other big travel vloggers and I'm seriously considering taking this course so that I can teach myself all the tricks of the trade and become a better travel vlogger for you in the future. I'm also planning to buy a GoPro because I thought that GoPro camera helped out a lot when I was renting it to go and make my videos from Budapest in Hungary. I'm going to get one. I've just decided I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to get a GoPro and retire my... Uh, 
nine year old camcorder uh, which I'm using to film this. I'm not really happy with the quality anymore of the video that it's giving me. It's all coming out very pixely and noisy and I don't think the sound's that great either. So I'm gonna upgrade my camera I think to a GoPro and I've also got my eye on a professional compact camera as well, possibly the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I've heard great things about that. It seems to be one that all the travel vloggers are using. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to improve the video and the sound quality of my videos. Um, I know I need to work on the frequency and consistency of my uploads and I will try to get a routine going there but I can't promise anything at the moment, I have to be realistic. So yeah, this is definitely going to be the year where I'm going to be able to use a steady income to invest in myself, invest in my channel and as well as upgrading my equipment I'm going to buy a couple personal things I need like a new bed because this one's about a decade old but of course a considerable amount of that money is going to go into trips. So I've got my eye on some places I want to go to this year. I really do want to go back out to Japan as soon as I can. The only reason I've not been able to is personal. It's nothing you need to worry about. It's nothing serious. It's nothing that affects me personally or directly. It's nothing that affects the ch my channel. I'm planning to sort of move past that as quick as I can so that I can get back out of Japan. There's so many people I want to meet up with over there and make some great videos over there. So I want to see more of Kyoto. I want to see maybe Nagano and I want to see a bit of Osaka as well. I want to sort of go around southern Japan and a little bit more of Tokyo because when I left Tokyo from my JP14 trip there were some places in Tokyo I really wanted to see and didn't have time to uh, so I'll pick up where I left off there and frankly I just miss Japan so much you know it's it feels like a second home to me it still does so I want to go back out there but I'm also going to go and check out some places in Europe as well this year I'm going to try to at least um, I've got my eye on a couple of countries. I know I did talk about Portugal, and Portugal's still definitely very high on the list. But yeah, I'm considering some other places as well, so keep your eyes and ears out. I will announce any travel plans well in advance before I go. So yeah, that's the news I've got for now. It's good news. There's going to be investment in myself, investment in my channel, investment in my future, and there's going to be some great content coming your way, I promise you. In the short term, you can look forward to my final video from the SI15 series. It's my last video from Slovenia. Uh, where I went to the coastal town of Piran. I'm still working on that for you. And after that, I'm going to be doing a 50 facts about me video so that you can get to know me a little bit better if you'd like to. Um, and then after that, I've got an idea for another competition that's going to hopefully help make my channel a little bit bigger at the same time as handing out some cool prizes and engaging with my community a little bit more. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hated it, you know, whatever. Um, don't forget to subscribe and share, comment as well, because I love reading your comments. It just makes me feel like, you know, there's people out there watching them, you know, thumbs ups and subscribes and, and sharing is great, but it's the comments. I really like reading feedback and comments from people. So until I see you again, it is ciao for now. My back is killing me. Oh, and I've got pins and needles in my feet. <laughs> Help.